Hello to my favorite kids ever. Today, you guys are going to switch over to measurement just like we did last week. And I'm gonna go over just a couple more things and then we are gonna look at what that lesson looks like today. So again, you guys, measurement vocabulary. We know what a ruler is. We know that inches are bigger. So those ones are on the top and centimeters are teeny tiny and those are on the bottom. And if we look at this, if we had a pencil, we're definitely going to want to measure that with inches as opposed to centimeters because it's a larger object. If we have a small, tiny object, then we'll want to measure that with centimeters. And we always make sure when we're using a ruler that we put that, we line it up right there with the end of it at zero. Okay, now I really wanted to go over these two charts because I felt like they were super important. We have, um, when you hear centimeter, think about. So it helps you to visualize what it means by centimeter. And I can say it's teeny tiny, but I thought it was better to have a visual. So it says like one base 10 block. So if you were to measure one base 10 block, it's small. It, an inch would not work, so you're going to need to measure it with centimeters. Same thing where it says like the little part of the light switch. It's like that little teeny part if you were trying to figure out how big that small little switch is. Centimeters would only work. Inches, inches would be too big. Um, that very top of an eraser of your pencil. So this, maybe we wanted to see how wide it is. Whoops. So maybe we want to see how wide that is. Again, an inch is not going to work because it's too big. If we look at our nail, okay? So look at your nail. Not your finger, but just the nail. Just the nail. So again, that would be too small to be an inch. So you definitely need to measure with centimeters. When you hear inch, I want you to think about a whistle, right? A whistle is probably like this big, a paper clip, um, a shape cube like we would have in class. Remember our one inch cubes and even like this little base of your knuckle right there, this line. I know I've told you guys this before, but that is actually equal to an inch just to get you guys to think of, you know, size. So if you ever see something and you're like, hmm. That looks like it's going to be smaller than an inch. You already know that you're measuring in centimeters. Then we have just this units of measurement chart. It's nice because it tells you what customary measurements are and what metric measurements are. So I know I've said this before, but customary is in the United States. We use this type of measurement. And the metric is basically everywhere else in the world uses the metric system. So if you were to travel anywhere else, you would see that, oh, they measure stuff in meters or, oh, wow, it's not miles when I'm driving on the freeway. They're measuring in kilometers. So it's crazy. And when you guys get older, you'll learn to convert all this stuff. But it's just pretty interesting to see. So this gives you a good little visual of inches, you know, how big. Um, feet is the length of a ruler. That's one foot. Yards is about the width of a door. Mile is the length of a long stretch of road. And then same thing if you go over here to the metric system of measurement. Centimeters about the width of your pinky. Meters is about the height of a kitchen counter. Kilometers is about the length of city blocks. Six city blocks to be exact. So that's just a little overview for you guys because I thought that might be helpful. And let's take a look at what the iReady lesson is for today. Hi again. Are you ready to practice some more math skills? We'll unlock different doors on our quest to the quiz. Let's go. It's time to practice estimating the lengths of objects. Ooh, look! Use this to unlock the door.
Let's estimate the length of this piece of cardboard. We know this quarter is about one inch long. About how many inches long do you think this cardboard is? So I'm going to pause that. Basically, in second grade, you guys should know how to estimate measurement with other objects too, even if you don't have a ruler. So that's what we're doing in this lesson is you guys are going to take that quarter. It's about an inch long. So when they say about, is it exactly? No, it's not. It might go over a little bit or it might be under just a little bit. So it's about one inch. So if you look at that and imagine if you had hmm, more of them to line up, you know, back to back, the end, one end meets the other. How many quarters do you think, how many inches would that be? Let's see. I'm going to say one, two, three. I would say it's about four. Could be wrong, but that's how I'm seeing this right now. So let's see. The cardboard is four quarters long. So it's about four inches long. Estimate the length of the sunglasses in inches. Okay. And you guys, I'm pretty sure that it does switch into um, some centimeters as well. Let's see. Yep, it says it does. So you should be doing that with inches and centimeters and you are estimating the length of an object. Okay, pop onto Google Classroom if you guys have any questions today and I hope you have fun. Miss you.